satellite remote sensing we are talking about satellite remote sensing so remote sensing as given in jensen the definition is the art science and technology of obtaining the reliable information about a physical object and the environment so the process of recording measuring and interpreting imagery and digital representation of energy patterns derived from non contact sensor system this means that without actual contact getting the information about an object or a phenomena remotely sensing this is remote sensing so what we do here we have a remote sensing instrument it can be in orbital platform it can be in sub optimal uh, sub orbital platform and the remote sensing instrument this is an aircraft this is a satellite so the remote sensing instrument collects information about an object or a phenomena within this uh, instantaneous field of view ifov of the sensor system without being in actual touch or physical contact with the with this object so the sensor is located in these two platforms you know people have tried to take uh, remote sensing activities from balloons also in this particular figure if you see these these this is the remote sensing instrument this is your actually this is a solid angle this is an instantaneous field of view of the sensor system this is the object area or materials with the ground projected ifov we are talking about d is the diameter of the ground projected ifov and h is the height altitude above the ground level of the remote sensing instrument so remote sensing is a tool or a technique similar to mathematics so using sensors to measure the amount of electromagnetic radiation emr exiting an object or geographic area from a distance and then extracting information valuable information from the data using the mathematically and statistically based algorithm which is a scientific activity so it functions in harmony with the spatial data collection techniques spatial data means anything which is uh, linked with location or tools of mapping sciences like cartography etc including the cartography and gis geographic information system information about an object and area what we want to say here the sensor can be used to obtain specific information about an object say if you want to find uh, the diameter of a cottonwood tree crown or any phenomena say we want to uh, find uh, find out the boundary of the cottonwood stand which is a geographic extent of a phenomena so the electromagnetic radiation which is reflected emitted or back scattered so all these three reflected emitted or back scattered from an object or any geographic area is used as a surrogate for the actual property under investigation So the electromagnetic energy emr measurement must be calibrated and they are turned into valuable information using visual or dip techniques digital image processing techniques this is the remote sensing process the statement of the problem that means why we want to collect the data data collection can be in these forms then we convert the data into the information because data is raw information is the content which you want from the data and then we present the information so statement of the problem that means we first formulate the hypothesis if it is necessary then we try and address the logic it may be inductive deductive or technological and then we try to model or select certain model which can be deterministic or stochastic deterministic can be empirical knowledge based or process based then the data collection you can go to the field you can go to the lab and then collateral data that is dms soil maps superficial google geology maps population density and with remote sensing it can be passive or active the passive log we use frame camera or videography the passive digital in this analog we have camera and videography by the digital we use the frame camera scanners and linear and area arrays in scanners we have multi spectral and hyper spectral scanners in linear and area arrays we have multi spectral and hyper spectral then we can perform analog image processing or dip digital image processing that is pre processing either enhancement then the analysis 
in parametric, non parametric, like maximum likelihood or artificial neural network. Non metric also, like expert system, decision tree classifier, machine learning. Hyperspectral analysis can be done, change direction, also the modeling, that is the spatial modeling using GIS data, or also scene modeling, which is based on the physics of energy matter interactions and the scientific geo visualization in number of dimensions. Then the information presentation, that is image metadata, you can present the accuracy assessment, you can um, refer to the data or information with respect to the geometric, radiometric, thematic and chain detection. The presentation can be analog or digital. It can be in the form of images, unrectified or ortho images, ortho maps, thematic maps, GIS database, animations and simulations. Then you can also find the statistics. It can be univariate, multivariate and also present the uh, data or information in the form of graphs. This is an example of uh, electromagnetic energy. The thermonuclear fusion of the surface of the sun yields a continuous spectrum of electromagnetic energy. This is the basic idea of passive remote sensing. The 6000 K temperature of this process produces a large amount of short wavelength energy from 0.4 to 0.7 and also you know, on both sides of it, there is blue, green, red and travels through the vacuum of the space at the speed of light. Some of the energy is intercepted by the earth where, where it interacts with the atmosphere and the materials of the surface and the or may reflect some of the energy directly back to the space. It may also absorb the short wavelength energy and it may re-emit in the longer wavelengths. So what is happening is the sun, which is our earth. So the transmission is at the speed of light. These are shorter, wave, shorter wavelength radiation. And these uh, radiations can be absorbed and they can be re-emitted in long wavelength radiation. They can be reflection, emission, etc. This is the electromagnetic spectrum of the photon energy of visible light. If you see sun, it varies right from gamma to various waves. And earth, again from point uh, this 4 to, these are the variations, you know, earth also has all these ranges. But we are interested mostly in the, in this region, which, which is point 0.4 to point 7 of visible light and then ultraviolet and then NIR, near infrared, far infrared because imaging is done in this area, this region actually, spectral region. So there can be two type of sensors, passive or active. Passive means the sun's energy which is reflected, this is the sun energy which is reflected or absorbed and then re-emitted as thermal infrared women. This can be sensed by the satellite. For example, Aster, Landsat and AVHRR are the example. In the active scenario, the satellite sends the or emit the radiation. The radiation which is reflected back is detected and measured. For example, LIDAR, LIDAR and SONAR all are the active sensors. The spectral resolution, what is the spectral resolution? If this is a spectra, say we are talking about say Landsat multi spectral scanner. Now, the positive systems, say ADAR 5500, the wavelength varies from this point to this point. What it means is that the single band of ADAR 5500 data, it has blue band, green band, red band and NIR, near infrared. As you can see, this is the near infrared imaging. And the precise band pass measurement of a detector which is based on a full width at half maximum criteria is the Spectral resolution, which is the, this is called the full width of the half maximum, right? So this FWHM is what? 700, this is 700, this is 800, this is 700 to 800, this is the full, full width, full width of half maximum criteria and this is nothing but the spectral resolution or in other sense, you can also speak like this, that Number number of spectral spectral intervals to which the sensor is sensitive to is the spectral resolution. Spatial resolution. Spatial resolution. If you see, this is 0.5 by 0.5 meter. This is 80 by 80 meter. So the nominal spatial resolution. This is the ground projected instantaneous field of view. You can also speak that the minimum distance on the image or the normal, the minimum distance that the sensor could discern or differentiate 
is the spatial resolution. It is related to the distance. So remote uh, sensor data acquisition, this we are talking in terms of temporal resolution. Say we took some data here in the second time, the third time. So the frequency of data taking or sensing, say it is 16 days. So this is the temporal resolution. Temporal means time. So this is time. Radiometric resolution is the radiometry, which is given by the number of bits. If we are or say number of gray levels that are possible through the sensor that that the sensor is sensitive to how many intensity values. For example, if it is uh, say 8 bit, so it will be 2 to the power 8, that will be 256. So the intensity value will vary from 0 to 255. This is 256 only. MODIS, we know about MODIS, Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectro Radiometer. It was launched in 1999 on NASA's Earth Orbiting System US platform. It has 36 spectral bands. Aster, Advanced Space Bond Thermal Emission Reflection Radiometer. It was launched in 1999, again a part of NASA's US. The spatial resolution 50 meter in VNIR, 30 in SWIR, 19 TIR. The temporal resolution is 16 days. These are all infrared region, like short wave and thermal. Caster is useful. For example, it is used if useful in volcanic or volcanological studies, mineral studies, hydro, forest, glacier, limnological, climo, climate, DMs. Uh, per se, Aster is covering 99% of the earth and it has given the 99% coverage DM of the whole globe. This is a three-dimensional perspective view created from Aster as I just I was just speaking about the DM. This is a digital elevation model with a simulated nature colored Aster image which is which is draped on it. So you can see the, the utility of the DM which is produced by Aster. Again one of the example of Aster AVHRR advanced very high resolution radiometer first launched way back in 1978 global coverage 4.4 kilometer US 1 kilometer spatial resolution temporal resolution high temporal resolution that is twice a day this is the Iconos the first path breaking satellite with 1 meter spatial resolution the first satellite launched by a private company launched in 1999 but 1 meter panchromatic and 4 meter visible and near infrared resolution Active sensors, we have known about active sensors, they emit energy pulse, if this is an active sensor, it will emit the pulse, measure the backscatter and then record the digital number or intensity values. Long wavelength, we use microwave here, it can penetrate through clouds and vegetation, so radar always black and white, the image is black and white with speckled texture, you will not get an image like what you see in actual imaging. This is an example of a radar image. ERS, European Remote Sensing Satellite Radar Image, LIDAR, Light Detection Ranging, it transmits a laser light to target laser light. 50 cm accuracy, see the accuracy, 15 cm, very good accuracy. So this, I took just a basic idea of remote sensing just to introduce. Thank you so much, take care.